When you're driving down the road, do you pass the same places time and time again? And maybe it takes years before you finally decide to stop. Well, after all, if they survive for decades, they must be worth a look, right? Well, that's true for Jim Oliver's Smokehouse in Mont Eagle, which has been in the same location since 1975. Here's Rob Wiles. Jim Oliver's Smokehouse is a busy place these days. And it's grown a lot since Jim Oliver established the place back in the mid-1970s. Jim is gone, but his son J.D. remembers the beginning. It started out with 14 employees, and I think we could see about 50 people. They had built a building next door to it, which they were using as an uh, antique mall. At that time, people were building antique malls around, renting out the space, and using that as an attraction to get people to come in. J.D. and his sister Betsy have always loved being around the restaurant and around their dad. He was a boisterous, happy, love people kind of person, yeah. He liked to be around the public and he loved to feed people, he loved food, he loved food and people, so I mean, you know, the restaurant thing goes hand in hand. Since J.D. and Betsy were always around, well, it wasn't long before they were on the payroll. As kids, we liked to hang out at the restaurant, and as we got old enough to pick things up, we started working. And they're still at it, growing and building, but keeping the centerpiece their daddy loved, barbecue. He developed a good reputation for cooking and uh, just loved it. Is that, do you sort of still follow his recipe? Today? Oh, yeah, yeah. We add a few things, but we don't take away anything that he got started because it, it's just so popular. Still popular and out front. We have everything out out front there where people can see us smoking and cooking and taking it off the smoker, which really adds to the, the whole uh, experience of eating here. Of course, Dad is not at the grill any longer. Now it's Michael Bradford, better known as... Smoking Man Mike. You know, that nickname pretty much tells the story. Yeah, I smoke a lot of different things. Everything, actually, yeah. <laughs> if you can get it in there, you can smoke it, huh? I can, yeah. Brisket, ribs, chicken, pork belly, jerky. It's pretty much everything. A smoking man Mike is not one of those uh, snooty sort of chefs who doesn't like anyone peeking over their shoulder. Oh, no. You come into this restaurant, you're likely to hear the smoking man yelling a greeting. Hey, come here. Where you going? Come here. <laughs> and they get a rib out of it, too. And sometimes it helps to make a decision because the menu is really uh, quite large, actually, and the buffet is delicious as well, too. So um, I like them to try the ribs. It makes me come back for ribs again. Ribs or whatever else might be on the smoker. You got to try this. Brisket burn in. Watch out, it's hot. If it's not coming off the smoker, chances are pretty good Betsy has prepared it. This is uh, the vegetable beef soup. She loves to cook, and it's cooked for some uh, pretty picky eaters. I got my cooking from a long line of cooks. We have this saying in the Oliver family, you can't cook for another Oliver. <laughs> you know, they gotta tell you how to season it well, and sure, everything. Of course. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> how your seasoning went wrong or how they would have done it their way. <laughs> Betsy's way is pretty good comfort food for sure, but with a healthier twist. And I went to a reversing diabetes class and oh, learned did. a lot, yes, about how to cook healthier. And I, our food is easy to take and make it healthier, but still make it taste good. Uh -huh. So we quit using, you know, a lot of the stuff and started experimenting with new spices and new ingredients and stuff. So we get a lot of vegetarians and vegans that come in that have a lot more options now. Once you've had your fill of some fine food here at the restaurant, you might need a little walk to sort of, you know, let that lunch settle. Luckily, there's a great big general store right here you can wander around. Over the years, we've had a lot of different things in there from souvenirs to, you know, coonskin caps to games and toys that people play with. And this last uh, 10 years, we've kind of evolved more into our own products like the barbecue sauces and the jams and jellies and the spices. Thank you. Oh, hey, thank you. Uh, you think I got enough pork rinds to get me through the afternoon? Now? I think so. 
Well, once you've had your dinner and you've walked around the general store, you might be a little tired. They can take care of that here for you too. There's a lodge here and cabins. Oh, people really like the cabins. There's a lot of different things that go on up here that people like. They have, like to have a cabin versus a room. Mm -hmm. uh, the cabins always seem to capture interest because you got fireplaces and jacuzzi tubs and front porches and kitchens in them. So we get a lot of family reunions that come up here and they'll rent four or five cabins and 15 or 20 rooms and have a weekend get together, you know. Travelers who stop at Jim Oliver's can sense that get together feel. Experience the hospitality. We have great servers and the people that work for us and the food's good and the atmosphere is comfortable and it's just an easy place to be. Easy place to eat in. You know, easy place to come in from a from a trip and just relax and eat and get your kids fed and we don't care if they run around or <laughs> within reason, but <laughs> everybody has a good time, mm -hmm. the family does. Makes sense, since the Jim Oliver family has been running this place for almost half a century.